Hi everyone, this is Arul Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. We are already discussing about the subject data mining and warehousing. Now we are in the unit 5 which completely deals with data warehousing. Let's enter into the topic. So here the perfect definition of data warehousing is given. According to WH Inmol, if you want to see the definition of warehousing, it is just a subject oriented, integrated, time variant and it is completely non-volatile collection of data which can be used in support of management's decision making process. So this is the definition given by WH Inmol uh, which says that for making any decision uh, regarding purchasing something or distributing something whatever. So with the help of the data which is available the complete after mining come after the complete mining process it helps in decision making process that's the purpose of data warehouse so if you see the definition below it is a process whereby organizations extract value from their informational assets through use of special stores such stores are called as the warehouses okay then coming to the advantages of warehousing so it lowers the costs of information accessing for any company so if you see not only the company if you see any concern may be an educational institution companies whatever it may be so when we go with the warehousing concept we don't want to uh, go finding out the historical data once again and uh, go through the preparation of huge data sets so using this warehousing the cost of information accessing is made lower and also it improves the customer responsiveness so because the customers will feel um, very much interested in giving responses through these warehousing processes so uh, even for example if you are going with some uh, data collection work just like questionnaire making use of questionnaire so it can be made easy and attractive so that they will be responsing so and also it identifies the hidden business opportunities throughout the world not only through the country throughout the world it helps to identify that one so, and also it helps in strategic decision making processes so whenever a concern or a person or an individual person goes for decision making process uh, he or she must follow any strategies so um, using the warehouses they can follow their suitable strategies for decision making process that's what they have given that's an uh, advantages of making use of warehousing then coming to the types of uh, warehousing first one is the operational data store right where uh, various items which is available in the stock or in uh, something and not something some databases which can be made available and operational data mirroring can be done the enterprise data warehouses where the historical data is being used for making decision makings and also historical analysis complex pattern analysis can be made easier with the help of enterprise data warehouses and finally if you coming to the data mods this can be used in various fields such as collections of data how to sell the products how to get the information everything can be included in it and then coming to the use of a data warehouse it's used for presentation of data reports and graphs whenever you are going for making presentations of your company or your concern of your uh, personal information this can be used and um, it is used in various dimensional analysis also in the data mining processes uh, you can able to see in the screen that the operational data store structure so here we are using the source system uh, end user source system ods etl and various components involved such as data warehousing mods ims sap everything so where the operational data source plays as the important role in interconnecting these and providing exact information that is required for the user then coming to the metadata so we i hope we are all aware about uh, data so having some information uh, that can be termed as a data any content can be termed as data data about that particular data is termed as metadata right so databases that de describes various aspects of data in the warehouse where description about a particular data is given for example if you go to library you can find a description about any particular book book contains data and here the description gives a data about that book so that can be termed as a metadata and also administrative metadata so it's a source databases and contains transformations required and history of migrated data so these are all the various examples of 
metadata then you come to managing the data warehouse here important two concepts are data and process so if you uh, want to manage the data warehouse effectively the size of the data plays an important and very much uh, crucial role so uh, and if the size is huge uh, the time concerns right so likewise we have a lot of things regarding the size of data warehouse then security backups tracking so all this must be enabled uh, while considering the data right then coming to the process it's a monitoring update processes it's very much important when you come with the changes in the sources or quality of data or accuracy of data updations of data this plays a vital role then coming to data warehouse design you, know, you can find the four important things uh, four important concepts that must be taken into consideration while designing the warehouses first one is it must be simple so wherever the data needs to be taken the processes must be made simple so it can be used effectively then data must be clean which means uh, the repetitions of data unwanted data these things should not be there only exact what you want should be there in the data query processing must be faster so when you give a command to retrieve a data it must be processed faster and given the data in quicker manner it should not uh, delay so that needs to be concerned then fast loading whenever a user requests user or yourself a request for any data using some constraints it must be given to you faster the answer must be given to you faster when you come with the example store schema you can able to see the query simple queries the sales fact table they have taken the sales fact table as an example and various keys used and the measures measurements used for example if you see number of units and what is the value in dollars then average sales that comes under measures in such a way all these constraints are taken into consideration when you come to the next one it's just a dimensional oriented that is location oriented uh, concept hierarchy is given you see uh, so only uh, five main dimension is taken that is completely everything include all stem as all the region country city office the europe and north america comes under region specifically germany spain canada mexico those comes under country then in those countries exactly uh, the city's names so frankfurt in germany vancouver in canada toronto in canada so likewise that comes under the city category then offices so names of the offices in specific countries this is an, another example of a concept hierarchy using dimensions next one coming to oelap that is online analytical processing right so this is just a software like other softwares which is used for performing multi dimensional analysis in a very high date uh, speed actually and a huge number of huge volume of data can also be performed sorry uh, used uh, performed or accessed so that's a in a data warehouse right then for example in a data mart or in a, a centralized data stores data warehouses wherever we need the accessing then multi dimensional data model uh, so actually this data warehouse we are discussing that completely based on a multi dimensional data model where only single dimension or two dimension is not enough for uh, efficient retrieving or storage multi dimensions needed for example if you see uh, uh, any take any particular table regarding a product we there we should have item that is the item's name what brand it belongs to what type of uh, that brand at which time it was being manufactured and how many frequently it is being sold everything likewise so that is the multi dimensional data source here the example of snowflake schema is given if you say again the sales fact table the various measures which we discussed previously so uh, sales fact table in which example of snowflake schema is taken you can see the dotted lines which represents various accessing paths and also the lines uh, which represents the various units uh, or measures taken for the considerations then coming to typical olap operations so uh, various operations just like roll up drill down slice and dice pivot uh, then drill across and drill through those are listed here where the uh, oh, individual workings working types are given so for example we can take one example and a roll up if you consider the roll up it is just nothing but it's a climbing up the hierarchy right from bottom you will be climbing up the hierarchy for example if you take any college you can come up with students uh, faculty that is uh, lecturers head of the departments principal vice chairman chair likewise so various other operations are also being listed so here the cube cuboids corresponding to the cube cube data is given so if you see 
the things which are given one dimensional cuboids and two dimensional cuboids right where everything includes the product product and the date date individually product and the country where it belongs where the data is taken from the product and the country so where date and country that gives a value for the country region and also for the day if you take product date and country so three uh, data can be taken from individually from product and another one is from date and another one is from country this is how the cuboid corresponding to the cube is being represented that in diagrammatic manner then you come to multi dimensional data if you see the sales volumes as the function of a product month and region how it is being classified you can able to see uh, the dimensions uh, given so the product dimension locational time hierarchical summarizations of the parts right if you take industry uh, then it comes to the category then it comes to the particular product so after industry where the region then in which country in which city and which office it is being located so next coming to the manufacturing part year quarter month week or day from this complete data can be taken for any warehousing in multi dimensional data sets i hope you understood clearly you can see in the next video thank you so much